How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. If you guys would, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. And if you guys would also please head over to Twitch, follow me there at Douglas447, stream there at least once a week. And of course if you guys have any movie shows or games you guys want me to cover here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, we're going to be talking about positives and negatives, talking about Dragon Wars from 2007. The movie is rated PG-13, and this is one of my favorite childhood movies that I have watched. And this is a movie that I think a lot of people forget. It's a movie that I don't blame people for forgetting even exists, because it's one of those movies that's kind of like, it's kind of got its own little cult following, and it's not a movie that, like, was horrible and people don't, like, hate, hate, hate it. Like the Star Wars prequels or the Star Wars sequels have been getting. But it's a movie that most people don't care about anymore. It's a movie that most people just, because of, like, the MCU and whatnot and other superhero movies and franchises taking over... Individual properties, individual ideas like Dragon Wars just gets completely swept under the radar. And I wanted to talk about another one of my childhood favorite films, Dragon Wars. I know here on the channel I talk a lot about Marvel and Star Wars. And like I've got um, uh, a video talking about, you know, my love for Tron Legacy from 2010. But I want to talk about a movie that is another childhood friend of mine, Dragon Wars, as far as film goes. Because I really enjoyed watching this. And the first time I watched it, I was just enthralled with you know the dragons and the dinosaurs and all the other monsters. And the humans going on the, the adventure. And it kind of reminded me somewhat of Lord of the Rings, where the characters are trying to stop this gigantic bad guy from doing this really bad thing, preventing this world-like apocalypse kind of thing from happening. And I decided, you know what? Not only am I going to talk about it here on my channel, because I like the movie so much, but I decided to do <laughs> something that I really kind of regret now, and that is put on my quote-unquote critic glasses and actually watch this movie through the lens of a critic and review it for you guys. And upon rewatching this movie for this review, my love for the movie has unfortunately dropped. It hasn't died, but it's definitely dropped. Like, before I wanted to review this movie, I would always say this is like at least a... Eight, maybe a 9 out of 10. That's how much I like this movie. Unfortunately, when I went to review it, my score went down drastically. And it's because I realized that this movie does not have good CGI. The, the CGI and the other effects for this fantasy world, the action sequences, and the violence are very Decent, especially for 2007. If you go and watch this movie now, it does not look really good. It does not hold up. It looks decent. Like, you can tell they put some money into the special effects and CGI. But it just doesn't look really fantastic. Um, the acting and the logic of the plot, if you actually are sober and you watch this movie... The acting and the logic of the plot is very, very, very bad. There's also no no there's also no well-known actors in this movie. Even back in 2007 when this movie was coming out, there, there's no well-known actors. So that really hurts this mem movie from being memorable. The film is watchable. I want to state that. The film was watchable. You're like, man, you're really hurting on this film. The film's watchable. 
and you can have a good time watching this movie, especially if you aren't trying to critique it for its weird plot and acting being so bad. If you are completely mind numb to the bad parts of this film, this movie is an 8 or a 9 for you. But if you want to actually get serious with it, this movie is very bare bones basic. So, to you as a viewer, if you're not a diehard fan of dragons and dinosaurs, this movie is going to put you to sleep. I do, however, say to everybody, watch this movie at least once. You can get it on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital. And I encourage you guys to check it out once if you have not. And if you guys have, let me know. Do you guys like this movie? Have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts and opinions on it? Let me know in the comment section down below. With this review, I have to give Dragon Wars a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.